We gotta do it again. We gotta do it again. Like the wrong way because did somebody a favor on that plane. Mm mm. So so yeah, so that's my thing. Um That was good. Good video. <laughs> I have this other thing I saw on um uh, we were watching it together about brain an- aneurysms and how yeah. they have a test on, you know, how to, you know, check for that. And if you you're know. in, yeah, if you're um, at risk of having a brain aneurysm or something or have some kind of heart defect or something, right? What is an aneurysm, a brain aneurysm? Isn't it just like. Isn't it something like pops, pops in, your, in your brain? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I think it's you something. You bleed like, out or something. So, so what was the. The uh, do you remember the test? Like yeah, it's the palm of your hand. Mm-hmm. So if you hold your hand straight out and you cross your finger over your palm to the other side, so if it doesn't cross completely over, so meaning it doesn't hang off your palm, this is no considered normal. So I'm normal. Sort <laughs> yeah, of. Let's, let's pull up the graph. Y'all, sometimes you have that one locked and loaded. Yeah. <laughs> you ready for me? Oh, I wrote it into my script. <laughs> what if I can't, like, turn my arm all the way like this? You know how, like... Then you need to drink more water. <laughs> <laughs> Your H3O yeah, is my, not working for you. Where's my hydro at? It's my in the hydro fridge. bottle. It's in the fridge, really? No. Your oh. bottles are over there. Oh, okay. And your water's in the fridge. For next segment. I H3O is not going to help you with this one. I could do it with See, this one. See, I can better. stretch my palm, my finger, all the way to maybe the corner, but it hurts. Like my oh, yeah, muscle help, right hurt. here. Yeah, I'm like, oh. Uh. You know, that hurts. So really, without, I'm like right there. Which can is you train normal. that? Like, can you I think like, double-jointed people could probably do that. So this, I don't know if this counts for double-jointed how people. How do you strengthen this? You do these exercises that go like this. Seriously? No. Oh. <laughs> you got to get rid of the fat that's right here. Like, like. Stress, 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 and the, you know those things? They probably work. You know those um, oh, those things. things those, those, didn't you always, whenever you saw somebody like that was sitting around with that, didn't you, you kind of think? They jerked off a lot. <laughs> <laughs> or they were douchey. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you doing? standing there like this. Yeah, yeah, like, you like put, it's impressive or something. Yeah, like, you're like, you like, squeeze something. You're like, what are you doing, man? Cut it out. I know, exactly. <laughs> put like, it put it down. It's distracting. Meanwhile, this shit hurt. <laughs> exactly. So they say that if it crosses completely over mm-hmm. your palm, that you're possibly at risk. Okay. So. Well, yeah, we have the we have the uh, graphic up there. You know, not that it's guaranteed that you'll have a brain aneurysm, but you should at least get yourself checked out. Yeah, it should start the conversation. And I don't know if that counts for double jointed people or not, because those people can bend their hands like all the way to touch their arm. It's really gross. When I was like. It gives me the GBs. I think I was up to maybe twelve. I could like bite my toenails. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. I could never do that now. I mean, I, not I, that I would want to. I would not let you. <laughs> <laughs> I would drop kick you every time I saw you going for it. But yeah, I mean. You didn't have anything weird as a kid that you did that was weird, or, or you just wouldn't oh. say because you know. <coughs> no, um, have to be here. let me see. Nope, didn't do anything weird. You didn't eat your boogers. No. <laughs> Only thing you did was the not burp. as far as and you know I can remember. You if just, I was like really really young, I, I don't know, I wouldn't remember that. You just the burp girl. I would, yeah. I mean, but that's bit, not weird, right? No, I guess not. I mean, it's not like you. Gave yourself hot boxes or something like that. It's not no, like, oh, that's gross. It's not that's like, disgusting. Yeah. I just like the sound of the bass, you know, burps and how loud but, they can But get it was just burping? Was it farting? No, oh. not farting. That's just nasty. <laughs> that's just na- That lets out odor. That's really gross. <laughs> yeah. My burps don't let out. or Well, they didn't. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> talking about that. <laughs> so do you have anything for... Uh, this uh, for quick and weird, quick or weird. Um, yeah, I do actually. I was reading the New York Post, mm-hmm. and they have an article on this woman who had a heart attack. She's twenty years old. Oh, okay, I kind of read about that. Yeah, she's an OnlyFans star and stripper. Mm. No stripper. She works in a club, and um, I guess she saw this challenge on TikTok. Remember when Taylor and his friend did that cinnamon challenge where you eat. 
yeah. spoonfuls of cinnamon or whatever, and you know, try not to choke on it. That well, was, there's that was real brainy act. Yeah, that was real. Yeah, this is <laughs> we raised some smart ones. <laughs> a couple in the bunch didn't turn out <laughs> quite what I thought, but they lived through that. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, there's another challenge. It's called dry. Well, this whole thing, all this the stuff is called dry scooping. That's what they call these challenges. And okay. so there's another one where um, bodybuilders would eat like a mound full of dry energy powder, you know, stuff that you mix into w- with water just before yeah. your workout and whatever. Yeah, kind of like the stuff that the whey protein or even that stuff that we had just recently that... Uh, the, yeah, the, sort of, yeah. Okay. The, the, this one in particular that they recommend is really high in caffeine. Um, and it's the equivalent of drinking four cups of coffee at the same time. <laughs> Okay, so but these bodybuilders are used to having, you know, these energy boosts right before their workout. They're yeah. avid bodybuilders, so this chick down. thinks, well, if they can do it, I can do it. I gotta go pick things up and put things down. So she she <laughs> she wasn't even recording herself when she did all this. So okay. she, she takes a scoop of this stuff. Oh, so she was just. She was just kind of doing it for the do- for the love. Yeah, because she's like, okay, I'm going to work out today, so let me take a scoop of this stuff, just like they do, and work out. That's at least that's how she. So, explains so it. the bodybuilders actually do that. They don't put it in water and drink it. No, apparently not. Apparently, this is like one of those challenges where these bodybuilders eat this supplement dry, and then they go and work out. I know it's so weird, right? but no, no, no. Here's what I'm trying to say. There sometimes there are challenges of doing things. That, you know what I'm saying? But that isn't what you do. Like, nobody eats scoops of cinnamon. No. You know what I mean? So the challenge was eating scoops of cinnamon. Nobody dumped ice on their head. So the challenge was the ice bucket challenge. Oh, yeah. So what I'm saying is, is <laughs> could it be a situation where the bodybuilder just uses stuff, but the challenge is to just eat it dry, like the challenge was to drink, was to swallow fucking tight. Pot. The, the cha- yeah, the challenge was to eat it dry. But my point is, do bodybuilders eat it dry? I don't know. I don't think all of them do, no. Oh, okay. No, I don't think it's a normal thing. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't it, think it's... not it's... a normal thing. There's nobody out there, like, every day, like, hey, bud, you, you, you eat your, your, your caffeine sandwich? No, <laughs> sandwich. it's not a normal thing. Okay. Actually, I never even heard of this shit until okay. I started, I came across this well, article. Well, hence the challenge. Hence why they did something... You know. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Well, like I said, she said she wasn't recording herself when she did it. So she eats a scoop full of this stuff, and she said immediately she starts coughing on it, choking on it. Okay. Um, and her, she said her gums were on fire, which is kind of – I never heard of that kind of reaction. But, you know, it's got tons of caffeine in it, so who knows. Um, she tried to drink some water. Sometimes when you drink water and your, your throat is all covered in powder, it's even worse because yeah. it cakes up. She said she coughed for a while. Um, I guess she got over it, so she went and she did some workout, I guess, in her own house and got ready and went to work. She's a dancer, so she was dancing that night at the club. And right before she goes on stage, just like an hour or so before she goes on stage, she says she starts feeling really sick and nauseous and her chest starts to hurt and the left side of her body starts to hurt, so they call the EMTs and they found that she had an elevated heart rate, but... Didn't find anything weird about her. It wasn't until she said, no, something's really wrong, that they rushed her to the hospital and they did EKGs. They had to keep her overnight. Mm. And her heart was beating so fast, they had to put her on blood thinners. I mean, it, I know. She almost lost her life, but, you know, she's, we, I, we have a picture of her. She puts up the stuff. She shows the stuff that she was taking. You know, I, I don't know. Eating a scoop full of anything dry. Total war. Was what it's called? Yeah, I think so. Total War. Because <laughs> it's, it's backwards, actually, in the picture. So it's like, yeah. I'm seeing, like, Rolato. 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 And that's her. I don't know why people think. Uh, well. People thought she was making it up. Oh, okay. You know, the fact that she's 20 years old and had a heart attack. But she didn't tell him she was stupid either. So. Oh, well, way to go, girl. Glad you survived it. All right. She says she's off of TikTok now. Why? I guess she blames TikTok for showing her that video. Take oh. accountability. Yeah, I mean, look, they're called the challenge for a reason. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> and to do it without do even recording risk. it for yourself as yeah. a challenge is so stupid. Yeah, the point, it doesn't count unless you record it. Yeah. <laughs> you could have just told people you did it. <laughs> stupid. And I think that's what it was. Like, the whole point of the cinnamon challenge is can you get this down knowing that it's going to get hard and dry in your, in your mouth? Right. It's, supposed, it's a prank, but it's a prank you're doing yourself. Absolutely. It's, it's like... TikTok has turned the world into a bunch of jackasses, but I don't mean that in the sense of <laughs> idiots, but in the sense of like jackass the show. Oh yeah, you know, is still some people try just about anything. What is is there any shows out like Jackass now? There's a couple on Netflix um, that are like that because there's some about stunts, but stunts is a little different. People are taking putting thought into it, things like that. But like Jackass, it was just like, hey, this would be fun. Let's just Run into this wall. Yeah, I don't. I mean, if there is, I I don't know about it. I would like to see a good old buffoonery show. What would you even call those shows? Like buffoonery show. <laughs> I think that's a good name name for it. I think so too. Show. We made it up. So, all right. So that's cool. So, um, we go ahead and zoom on into entertainment. What do we have under entertainment? Um. Uh, oh, I know what we have. We have this segment that we're working on. Mm -hmm. Kind of tossing around. It's going to be pieces or deuces. It's basically where we're going to be uh, yep. talking about things that we watched and that we recommend. You know, yep. kind of Cisco and ebook type <laughs> show. Uh, it won't necessarily be in this setting, but it'll be in the format of you know just lighthearted talking. The one thing that though I would like to do different for pieces or deuces is you know how when you watch a lot of shows mm -hmm. in the end you have to wait all the way to the end of the segment before you know if they're giving it up. You know, Z snap. Three snaps and a Z yeah, formation. Thumbs up, you know, whatever the heck they're giving it. You gotta wait to the end. I wanna give us give them give it to them in the beginning. Okay. I wanna give it to them right up. Just let them know. Like, mm. Don't even wait. Don't even Rip wait. Off the band and then tell them why. Okay. Cause as a kid, you know, which did you prefer? Did you prefer when your parents gave this long ass speech? And then told you what in the end what the consequence is going to be, or did you prefer if they told you what the consequence is going to be first, and you go ahead and do what they're going to do, and then tell your why if they have to, if they choose to, if they want to? I rather if if I know that in the end I'm getting a beaten or uh, some kind of consequence, just give me my consequence. Yeah, you don't even got to tell me why. Like I just know I'm getting it because I did something wrong. Just get it over. I mean, with. and if you want to tell me why, then I I can choose if I want to listen or not. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to tell me all that first, then. I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah. Because I know the ass whooping is coming. I can't go anywhere. <laughs> Maybe I could drift away. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know, but, you know, in the end, I got to come back. Yep. You know, so at least, you know, you give it to me, I could take it, and then I could let it marinate. You know what I mean? Mm hmm So, you know, just to kind of play it off, we, um, we watched uh, Army of the Dead. Mm-hmm. What did you, so as far as, okay, first explain what is deuces and pieces. Um, as far as I understand deuces and pieces, <laughs> if it was a bad, if it was a bad movie, mm -hmm. it's deuces. Okay. If it's a good movie, it's peace. And for our audience, what's the difference between a deuce, deuces and peace sign? Okay. This is peace. That's peace. Okay. This is flower child. Deuces. <laughs> and then deuces. Kick is, rocks. So. With peace, you show them your inner fingers. Mm -hmm. And with deuces... You show them the back of your hand. The back of the hand. It's like, mm. Mm. <laughs> so far as Army of the Dead, what would you give them? I give them a deuces. Uh, I totally give. Deuce up. I'm throwing up the deuces. It was a horrible movie. It was horrible under... You know, we've seen tons of, of, of breakdowns of this movie and explanations and, and why it was horrible. But what would you say was the main reason why it was horrible? Um, the script. Okay. What was wrong with the script? Uh, I just don't think it was very thought out. Uh, okay. I don't, there was a lot of, uh, um, there was a lot of, why is this even in here type. But uh, that's usually, shit. I'm usually that guy. You're usually the one that just, and if, if they're giving you something that's visually 
impressive, you're usually okay with that. It wasn't visually impressive. <laughs> no? No, because <laughs> I came into this because I like zombie movies. Mm-hmm. Okay, I love zombie shows. Okay. Maybe I've been spoiled by The Walking Dead and the great job that their creators do there. Mm-hmm. But these vampires, not impressive. The f- now, Zombies. We- yeah. You said vampires. Oh, sorry. Zombies. See, and that's the thing. That's why I'm so confused. Thank you. They're kind of like zombie vampires. (laughs) Yeah, a little bit. It was a little weird. (laughs) It starts off stupid. A lot of the acting was not good. Mm -hmm. I think Batista's acting was great, but he by now he's a little seasoned, so I expect that from him. But there were unnecessary people. Yeah. On there yeah. and relationships. There was unnecessary reasons of what things got done. Okay. It was, I just did not enjoy. I, um, so they I couldn't take my eyes off of it because it was so bad. Mm-hmm. I had to see what else came until the end. But I'll never get that hour and a half back in my life. Well, for me, I give it deuces because for one, I could have easily not finished it. I mean, it was it was it gave enough kaboom mm-hmm. to. To be like, okay, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to watch this. But I could have easily not finished it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or if I would have fell asleep, I doubt if I would have been one of those movies where I would have picked up where I left off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the only so. reason why I think we stayed around is because I had nothing left in the house to clean. And that's why I finished it. So so the reason why I give it my deuces is for, for a lot of the reasons that you do. But overall, I just think that the movie itself <laughs> was just lazy. I feel like... Um, From my understanding, it was all, and I'm a Zack Snyder fan, but from my understanding, he did everything in it. And a lot of times when you're doing everything, you're definitely going to cut corners on a lot of, on a lot of the thought process Mm -hmm. of of certain things. So, so from the script, tons of stuff that was in there that made, it's not even about making sense because they never even tried to make sense of it. Right. You know what I mean? Everything from the beginning of the, why is the army so inadequate why is it this why is it that like you can go through it all asking why did this happen why did that happen Mm -hmm. spoiler alert it's stupid (laughs) you're gonna ask a lot of whys (laughs) and you'll never get the answer to those you never get the answer to those whys and so don't get married yeah don't get (laughs) it'll let you down in fact, they're not going to even try to give no, you. No, no, no. Like, no. <laughs> like you, they're not going to even hear you when you say why. <laughs> they're just going to keep going. Like, you didn't don't ask why. what happened either because you'll never know those e- <laughs> yeah, reasons so, either. So, so everything, it, it could have easily been, you, you know what I felt like I was watching? A, what are those things that you used to watch? Viewfinders? Oh, I love those things. The only difference is, imagine if viewfinders had sound in them. Mm-hmm. And they had they was just like gifs. So that every time you went to the next viewfinder, it was a gif with yeah. with sound. Cause cause I don't really care about the script. The script could have easily have been in like cartoon bubbles. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it was almost like they just went from one ain't one shot to the next shot to the next shot to get you to the badass shot. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, wait for it, wait for it. Badass shot. Mm-hmm. Freeze. Wait for it, wait for it. Badass shot. Yeah. Freeze. You know what I'm saying? The only thing they didn't have in there was superhero it, uh, landings. And yeah. Maybe they did. <laughs> I, was a, I think I went into this expecting so much. I was a little hyper going into this because I knew it was Zack Snyder. And I, mm-hmm. and I ex- guess I expected a lot more than what I got. It, it was not... I, I, I'm almost like, are you sure it was Zack Snyder? I, mean, I had to go back and read them and make sure that it was him. It was, I don't mind um, like comedy zombie movies because Double Tap was a comedy zombie movie. Oh, that's great. That's a great movie. You know movie. what I mean? So great it, movie. my zombies don't always have to be serious. But the thing is, is once again, in this movie, it was it was a movie that seemed like it was trying to be serious, but it didn't it didn't put in the work to be serious. Yeah. So for example, it wanted to have every every trope <laughs> as a new word. Trope. You know, thrown into it. But it didn't see none of them through. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It wanted things for the audience to care about, but it didn't see any of it through to the point where you're like, well, did you want us to care about this or did you just want us to look at at cute women and muscle dudes? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Was all of this really just so that you can have a, a freaky mother zombie and a freaky alpha zombie? I didn't and, understand any of that You know what I mean? And, so much didn't make sense in all that. Exactly. Um, the fact that 
the rest of the world went on just fine with this little mm-hmm. itty contained area. On the, you know, I, it's just it was. I just mean, they're strange. talking about that the, um, yeah. How do you stop if it spreads that fast? How do you even stop it from being in one city? Exactly. At, at any you can't. Time? We couldn't even stop COVID. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so they're talking about it's possibly it might be part of this whole multiverse crazy bullshit. Oh, I hope not. It's because it just this wasn't a good start. I'm good. Yeah, me Deuces. too. Deuces. <laughs> Deuces. Deuces, bitches. So, so hey guys, it's JMC here from TMC for JMC show. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share, comment, like and subscribe, and subscribe. down below. If not, we're going to kill you. <laughs> nah. <laughs> we gotta do it again. We gotta do it again.